to get some damage output on this. Oh, ver. Hello. You've been hovering around me for like 20 minutes. So yeah, we're gonna get going on that. I'm just trying to uh, get my stuff on the side here set up. Eh, I'll do it later. It makes no difference. Anyways, well, it does make a difference. I gotta hear the volume. Anyways, oh, jeez, that freaking came out of nowhere. <laughs> the feedback on the volume just jumped at me. Nearly knocked the phone out of my hand. Holy crud, I scared the shit out of myself. Wow, there's a first. Oh, I've got some water. Alright, um. Hello, how's it going? We're gonna just go through the basics. You can start from right from the gecko doing it as soon as you unlock your quest. So, first of all, Dauntless, you're gonna to wanna to play it? Yeah, you're gonna to wanna to play it. It's a really good game. Kind of like a Fortnite almost graphical type of look, but it's real artistic and it looks beautiful. And then you got a lot of Monster Hunter type of deal with it as well. Now, it just came out of beta not too long ago, it came over to the systems. And uh, you can see people are everywhere. They're all over the place. Now, all of them are all connected, so that's great. They're adding more servers, so you might get bad times when you're loading in. So don't worry about that. That's all going to get fixed. And the only biggest downfall right now is you can't save equipment looks like. You can't have one set of equipment and then another one like you would in Monster Hunter having armor sets just to swap around. They're adding it, they just can't, they're just trying not to copy other games, basically. Alright, well, when you first start off, you're going to run in here, and you're going to go straight to her. She's going to give you your story, you'll do a quick little quest, I'm going to use this same enemy as she's going to give you as a demonstration on a couple things in a little bit, because this is just going mostly a training video, and then at the end of it, we'll do some gameplay. Well, we're going to do gameplay anyways, but some bigger stuff. And then you're going to get him, a couple other quests. So you do all those quests, you press the option buttons, you go over to your quest log, you'll have your quests in here to do. One of the biggest things you want to go and do is get those quests out of the way really fast. And this guy here, he's going to give you a quest called a chemical, uh, a chemical something. You're going to want to get that quest done immediately. You're going to have to dodge through 50 attacks, okay? The reason why I say you're going to really want to get that done fast at the beginning of the game up, is because of what he gives you in crafting. What he gives you is you get this one, which is 100 increased lantern generation for 60 seconds, which isn't too bad. But the other one is a life drain tonic. Basically, you're going to end up getting uh, life drain. Just on hit damage, 12% of damage dealt with heal nearby slayers. That's incredibly good. Now, I got to go get some opal and whatnot, but that's going to be a big deal. And that's really, like, one of our first deals you're going to be getting after a few quests from him. It's going to take you a bit of time. To continue through your stories. It's not going to go very far in. Up to around level 10, then the middle man will pop in. Now, I want just listen ahead or you skip ahead later on when this is a recording. Middle man is for your merging of your cores. Okay? Now, you'll get to, we'll get into the cores in a bit, but... These up three here, up here, you can buy. You don't have to use your platinum to do it. You can just press X on it and go to Ether Dust. All you gotta do is press the, not that button, press triangle to go into your cells and you can take apart whatever cell you want to get Ether Dust from him. Ether Dust or Ether Dust, whatever. And that's how you can buy those. And then you go down here and you press X and then you can merge two of the same types to make something stronger or two different ones all together to merge a new core. Now there are specific ones to do to make new cores. Now I don't have a list on that yet because I'm not into the game deep enough to uh, start getting into all that. Guns are over here but they need to be unlocked. Okay? Just over on the side and then your equipment stuff is over there. You'll learn all this really fast. Now we're going to get into a bit more uh, detail stuff. As soon as you unlock all of your additional equipment, all your weapons, you can start making different types. Elementals, you're going to, you already know the basis on elements. They're pretty much only two different elements that are opposite to each other in this game in the neutral. Pick your weapon and then you'll be in your loadouts. So you're going to be in your loadouts, looking something like this, just having your stuff. Now, this is just my setup specifically. We're going to go through a couple of small things that you should know at the beginning of the game, and I'm going to show it to you. 
Um, one of them is interrupting creatures. Interrupting by they, some of them charge, some of them do certain moves. You'll learn all this later. And uh, you just interrupt them literally by doing certain specific things. Like the hammer has an ability of a strong attack that can interrupt very easily. Uh, patrol. Patrol is what you do. Get bonuses. Get orbs. You'll unlock this within the first hour probably. Hour and a half of playing. That's where you get orbs and it'll give you a good way to go farm. Now, if you can, do it solo. Private Hunt is on the bottom. You can go in here, get your orbs, and you can see there's a daily boost down there. Terror orbs, so I'll get 30 if I do this. It is going to randomize all available creatures of whatever patrol you have unlocked. So for me, like just say Frost, you see all these guys? If I go patrol and I went Frost, whatever shows up on the top right corner, if they're there, those three can appear. Not all of them, but those three can appear in there. So be warned, you may end up going against the hardest one instead of just getting the lucky strike on a small one. But you can see there's Slayer's Bloon and Heart Lily. So if you really wanted to, take a patrol, pick something that you like that's easy or you know you can defeat. Go into it, go private hunt, and then you can go around at your leisure and collect all the items for crafting. You're going to want it. Because, yeah, trust me, the grenades, you're going to unlock transfusion grenades and certain things that heal besides just the basic tonics. Stuff that your team are going to want. Alright, let's jump into it. I'm going to show you now. First thing before we get into the weapon, I'm buffing its damage. I want to give you an example first. Um, he's tonics. I don't know if I have the grenade on me. There's a grenade you're going to want with the guns if you don't have a certain thing unlocked. I'm going to give you a, a show on the gun first. God dang it, I jumped first. Grenade, uh, barrage grenade. There it is. Just a basic barrage, barrage grenade. Grenade. Yeah, words. I swear to God, my mouth doesn't like words sometimes. Okay, go over here to the bottom. This is where you can select all your stuff. And like I said, the life drain tonic. You get that right at the beginning of the game really quickly. And that's it. You don't need to go to the boards, by the way. You can actually just go here. And then you can select it from your map. Now we're going to do the really simple one, which right the back, go to the lesser, because he's the easiest just to show you how to do things, how to break parts. I'm going to give you the basic run through with this guy because he's child's play. I just did it wrong. I selected a group of people. I have to cancel it. It'll pop up now in a second. Hey, But yeah, the first guy you're going to fight, I think, is the lesser. I think it's this dude that should get you to fight at the very first quest. But yeah, uh, the quest I mentioned from him is going to make you want to dodge 50 times through enemies' attacks. Do that. Don't skip it. I didn't even bother because I'm so used to dodging perfectly or end up just getting flattened that I never really dodged through enemy attacks. <laughs> so I had that thing sitting there the whole time, didn't know there's really good things with it. We're just going to have to wait on with that. There's a little bit of wait time sometimes on these. Oh, where's the other one? The other one is around here. I think I've already gotten them all today. But there's little tiny flags sticking off of pieces of wood. There's a kunai with like this pink a pink flag on it. Okay, let me abandon that real quick. There's a kunai with a pink flag. There's ten of them around town. And the purpose for those is a daily thing. So you go do it. You pick them up, run around town. They might be on top of buildings and everything. There we go. You just run around. I'm missing one. I don't know where it is. But when you get them all, all it's going to do is pass the daily quest. But the purpose of it is, is the hump pass. This isn't mandatory, but getting the, the extra for epic is a good thing. Hump pass give you lots of little things like uh, Ogre's Claw to make the weapon look different like this. You can't even see it because the name's in the way. But it also gives you gold cores you see it gives you ace chips these are for merging and then speeding up your mods so you can make them of course my favorite helmet came out of this season that's a nice little helmet and it's just a mod that goes with your helmet you get banners look i'm in the banner i'm i'm glitched my body disappeared <laughs> that's cool but you can just see yeah it just that's what that's for it gives you points towards your level up there and then another way of leveling that up, if you want to level it up, is breaking parts of the creatures. Basically, the easiest way to do it is not picking a big guy. Pick something like Ember. 
because he has four legs. You could break all four legs. Then you could break his tail. You could break his horns and his back. That equivalents to about two points per break, which is about 14 in a run. And it only takes a couple minutes to kill him if you really had a good gear set up. Because he's child's play. He's just a little, little dude. I probably don't even have the right weapon. I think I got a blaze weapon on a blaze dude. I don't remember what's on the gun. It doesn't make a difference. We're going in just to show you something. Now there's um when you when you start farming, you're gonna be farming these guys, and he's gonna give you a weapon that you'll actually be using quite late in the game, like up to mid game, is his fire elemental weapon. But that'll end up requiring you. See, he's right there. But that will require you to do some more stuff. Oops. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Now, we'll get into loadouts exactly after you can see Predator and like I have, yeah, we'll get into that later. Um, first things first, guns we're going to take an example of and I'll change what I'm going to show you. I'm screwing around with it. The Marksman Chamber is one of the first things, or not one of the first things, but one of the third things you'll get for that ability. But down here, it's called Saboteur's Grip. You'll get it with your gun. These can interrupt beams for the guns, okay? By interrupt, I mean charge attacks, and usually when you're loading, you know, it'll tell you certain things. There's another guy, uh, let's see if we can find his name. Is it this guy? I think it might be this guy. He does a charge attack as well. That uh, you can just literally throw a grenade at him, which we have on us. You can throw a grenade at him, or you can put the mine at him. I don't think it's timed by the mine being on the ground, but it has to be empowered. And then there's this dude here. He rolls. When he rolls, you can throw a mine at him or throw a grenade at him. It'll interrupt his ability. Now, that works with all strong attacks from all weapons except for the, uh, the dual blade. You need to have weighted plus six. Weighted is an ability you'll start getting. I'll show it to you after. Uh, top left corner is your flask. Flasks have two abilities. Usually every flask is different. One of them is you tap it, 40% speed, and the next one's a hold ability, which gives all slayer 15% increased movement speed and attack speed for 15 seconds. Then I just have a conduit in here, because why not? The conduit gives all slayers attack speed temporarily as well. It's just basically increasing what the effect of it is. All right. Let me show you about the mine, what I mean. He's going to charge me like nuts. And that's the whole purpose of it. Hi. See, that's a charge attack. All right? I'm empowered. Oops. I pressed it too late. But yeah, the charge attack is what you want to do and get him while he's charging. But he stopped. A little bit jumpy of a dude, but he's very easy to take out. Take out. See, he's already tired. Now let's break his horn off. See the damage numbers go up because of that ability? I like that. I'm missing like a amateur right now. Alright. I want to get him in a, in a situation where he's going to back up away from me. Where is he? There we go. Try to get him stunned. Probably not the best idea to use this guy. There you go. I broke his horn, but it would have been an interrupt if I didn't break his horn off. He'll roll past you and then just land on his ass. That's what I'm talking about by uh, interrupting them. He's a really, really low-level little dude. The hell? <laughs> Alright. Hi. He's all tired now. Yeah, they're fun little guys. Just to test your stuff out on. I missed him again. Let's see if this mine goes off. Let's get him to run back over this way. <laughs> He's tired again. But yeah, interrupting is fun. It's one of the things you'll do later on and get used to it. Yeah, so I'm just, I figured that mine would have went off. Let's get rid of it. All right, let's get to breaking parts. Like, you see how there's a yellow on his legs? Watch his, watch his head when I shoot it. I know you can bother. His head's gonna be a lot less now. It was way up there, 200s. Now that his horns broke, he's taking less damage on it. Alright, buddy. Let's see, I'm just looking at him. 
seeing if I can get some scrapes there. Does see how his head damaged? Put that on his leg. Oh my god, I hit the ground. The hitbox on the ground isn't the best. I'm gonna try to break his leg off. You stop it. There we go. There, see how there's a damaged part on his leg now? See how his leg's getting scraped? That's what I'm just trying to get. I could have used a bigger dude to show this. Let him do a couple of charge attacks. Wear himself out. There we go. Now, see? His leg's broken. The piece on there is gone. So now... Will you stop moving, please? You exhausted yet? Come on, charge me again. That's a dodging through. Right there, dodging through an enemy attack. That's what that means. You take no damage. See, 107. And then there's yellow 107. He's set for some reason to take the same damage, but that's how you tell if a piece is broken. Always aim for yellow. Alright, let's get rid of another piece off his face, which is these tooth. Now his tooth's broken. I didn't even know he actually could break his tooth. Hey! Don't break the trees. There we go. Now his head's not taking the damage he should. Didn't even notice it. There, see? Boy. That means there's nothing to break left on him. I missed his leg. <laughs> I just figured I'd, I'd use this little guy to show you. What the hell? Lag! Alright, let's get these other legs. I want to show you the points. When you do that, with the grenade, you'll end up uh, doing a hell of a lot of damage, but it could stagger them. I think he's back legs left. Of course, I missed it by a mile. Alright. That should be his back leg. Yeah. Damage, damage, damage. Now his tail's left. Empowerment is R1 with the guns, by the way. When you get close to him. Now all that's left is that tail. If I can freaking shoot straight. Stop wagging your tail. I don't want to kill him. That's why I'm not rushing it. Trust me, the higher level this guy is much more interesting to play with. There we go. There it goes. Tail's gone. Now you see the tail's off? Now on the ground right beside me, you see that little thing right there? Don't get pissy with me. You see it over here? You don't want to pick these up. These are like one of the only things you actually pick up when they're broken. Now, that should be all. I don't know if I can shoot his spikes. Press up the heel, of course. Let's see if his spikes come off. We'll look for any yellow piece. Oh, well, that's it. So that's all these pieces. Now we'll just, uh, now we'll kill him. Hi. I missed the empowerment. <laughs> Alright, give me this empowerment too. Alright, he's dead. See why I'm being careful? He really doesn't have a lot of health. Alright, so that's Embermane. Or, is it Embermane? Yeah, it's Embermane. Now we killed everything on him, meaning his... I didn't even notice he has teeth, but he has a horn. He has four legs and a tail. There's nothing on his back, some of them do have. Hunt progression was six, so there were six pieces. Should have been seven, which is weird with that number. It should have been seven. But uh, earlier I did, and you could double it by getting your things. So that's just for the, the progress hunt. Breaking pieces off gives you whatever you want. It gives you, anytime you're looking for anything, if it says the name of the creature, you're going to look for a hide, which would be probably his back. In this case, Emmerman is going to give a hide regardless, because it's a common one. Uh, as for his claws, you can see you target his feet, tail, sp tail spike, which would be his tail. And his horns or his tooth or whatever, savage teeth up on the top right corner there. Real simple stuff. How's everyone doing, by the way, while well, I grab some Red Bull? 
we'll do some more advanced gameplay. Don't take me screwing around on that anything serious for a fight. Coming from the guy who had a 50 dodge thing and never done it because I was dodging too good. <laughs> oh, it feels like such an idiot. I had that 50 sitting there for ages and I never done that stupid quest which should have just passed automatically. All right. Now, loadouts. Look at weapons. My gun broke. What the hell is it doing? Oh, I had that in there. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a quick look at the gun barrels first. You get all the elements with your guns that has it go as you unlock them. You just swap your barrels. It's always good to have all your gun barrels up there at the highest you can do it. I think a couple of these are an upgrade. Now, don't worry about the power. The damage is going to be pretty well. Keeping it up. As long as your element works against an enemy, you're doing good. Chambers. Now, you'll unlock the full bore through the actual experience. We will get to that. Through the weapon itself. Okay? Each weapon has each area, etc., etc. Now, this is unlocked as a special plus 10 item that comes with the gun. And it does a very long penetrating shot. Which does massive damage on an enemy and goes right through them. If you had a duel, like a couple guns together, like me and a buddy or something, one of us using the marksman, all they'd have to do is use marksman on the part they want to blow off and then blast them with that special. Go right through the middle, you get a big buff, stuff like that. Marksman is another one that gives you empowerment shots on whatever you target. You can see the set thing that hit them. But when it's empowered, other allies see it and they increase 25% damage. Salvo is a missile that hits and then explodes into three more. Now, just showing you the gun, and then we'll get to another weapon. The Saboteur. The Saboteur is um, one of the grips that gives you different abilities for the mine. Empowered mine can interrupt behemoths. It says it right down there. It says can, not will. And then you have the Captain's Grip, which is a buff for speed. Now, I've sacrificed this now. I used to love having a speed build, but believe it or not, having this mine in there allowed me to interrupt creatures or do massive damage on just a quick tap. And then having the marksman chamber in there is actually pretty interesting. Now, I just put it in because I'm testing myself. and Yeah. Uh, precision sights. Stacking damage. Now, you get a bunch of different magazines you can put in here, like uh, Returns of MO4 magazine when you get down low. You got um, Reduce Both Cooldown by set two seconds when dodging through. Now, I don't know about this for a lot of people because I'm not the biggest uh, fan of it. What the heck is going on here? I'm not the biggest fan of dodging two attacks. I have a tendency to dodge them cleanly. Meaning I don't get hit at all. We got uh, weight frame or lightweight frame, 20% increased movement speed when lower on ammo. That one there doesn't really come in handy because a lot of the time I have over six ammo. But some people like to run it on a lower side just for perks, and then reload. I don't. I just don't see a good enough effect for that over things like precision sight, which are eight damage when attacking the same part multiple times, stacked up to five times, right? That's 40 extra damage on a part. And then you got this one, which is increases fall-off damage range. Basically, that red crosshairs you want to... Yeah, it just gives you more range before the damage drop. Prism is more like a special effect that goes with the gun that activates after a certain amount of time. And it'll just allow you to uh, change up your build. For instance, you can have a barrier system going on and with this will allow you to refresh your barrier. This doesn't give you a barrier, it just refreshes the barrier. And then you got damage. Every 10th hit quick succession with a speed build, 100 bonus, and blaze damage. Right? Your last four shots of your magazine generate frost spice that can damage your 30, blah blah blah. You get what I'm saying. Alright, so we'll get into the next one now. The next one is uh, da, 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 armors. What was it gonna, I was going to show you something else. Oh, weapon. Going to change the weapon. For instance, 
what I was mentioning earlier, which would be these guys, Ember Blades. Now, these are the ones you get from him. Oh, they updated the game. He holds the weapon in his hand now, and one on his back. Normally, it's two of them on his back. But yeah, Ember Blades are what you're going to get off of the little guy who just fought and kicked the shit out of. These blades are fast. The other, of course, you can get hammers and axes and all that, too. But it's a fire element on them. And you can see mine is 380 with 80 plus fire. Every level doesn't add more fire, just adds more base power so you can do more damage with it. And then every 10th hit in succession, if you're a fast hit, you'll do 175 more part damage to them. So you have to be hitting parts. Now, modifications, I'm going to show you now how to get the modifications for any weapon you want, any gun you want, etc., etc. First of all, you're going to go rewards by hitting square. It's on the bottom right. And if you're on PC or whatever, then you'll see it. It's all marked. That's your Slayer levels. Slayer levels will show you what you can unlock. Down here are your best ones. You start getting double loot chances and double, right? And then you pick Behemoths. Behemoths, as you level up, you'll start getting cores. This is what you want a lot of cores and double break part chances. You'll start getting down here and getting this stuff soon, too. Both axes and all this stuff is what I'm going to show you. So, uh, chain blades. Your first ability of all of these, even even in hammer, you see weighted strike, the the vault hog, axe core. They're your abilities. Not all the time they're going to be ability. It could be a core. This is an ability that goes with it. Cruel shift. No, this is a core that alters what it does. Lightweight chain. This is an ability. It kind of looks the same, but this one actually uses it. And then this one's a buff, which is a core, again, that goes with the basic combos of the weapon. Okay? There. So, that's how you unlock those guys. For instance, the Rift Strike. And then the Reaper's Dance. The Reaper's Dance is one where you can uh, you throw a chain. It pulls you to the boss or the enemy you're fighting. And then when you use it again, it makes a quick explosion and flips you backwards away from them, getting you out of harm's way. Then you can dodge back again. And then there's Rip Strike, which teleports you forward, and if there's an enemy present, you will attack that enemy. And then there's Lightweight Chains, which reduces stamina cost, or there's Hurricane Blade. Now, Lightweight Chains just reduces stamina cost, like I said, or the Hurricane Blade is the spinning attack. So if it gets boring, like I said, you can skip ahead when this is recording. But uh, a square, square, and then square, whole triangle is the blade spin ability. That is what the effect of this does. That blade spin, spin ability will become a combo that adds on, a, a stacking buff. Blade spin grants stacking on the next hit damage that is consumed when using other attacks. So, the buff will go up by numbers. The more you hit, the more it goes up. And then every next attack after that will be more powerful. So, it doesn't wear off only when you're hitting with something else. So, basically, constantly active, just increasing your damage. Um, there's no tech cells in here equipped. But, how it works is this. It's easier to show you over here because this is the only way you can access an inventory. Now, first of all, in your loadouts, when you go to gear, you're going to be able to change all your gear. You see the little symbols on the bottom right of each gear? This one is uh, this one's a defensive symbol, a shield. This one's going to mean your uh, lantern. So you'll have uh, a lantern effect most likely coming from those abilities. This one's an offensive ability, mostly targeting power, straight up strength. And this one's going to be stuff like knockout king, status effects, things like that. And then you got the, the feather, which is a speed buff, okay? And to see what you could do with these speed buffs, are in here. Now, I mentioned this before, and I showed you about this guy speeding it up. But if I press triangle on my cells, you're going to see all the ones you have. So defense, you get to look at what you have, how many you have of it, and which ones you can merge. This is the easiest way to go about doing this. Mobility, Technique, Utility. So Utility is the one I mentioned. So generates longer, fast, stuff like that, Vampirism, Energize, right? This is where you can go to see which ones you have. 
And then there's the Dauntless store you can access as well, which gives you a little buff. There was a $5 thing in here if you want to get it. It's like 5 bucks, and it turns on the Epic for your patrols for the 100 on the bottom. And it also gives you 1,000 Platinum, which would in part allow you to buy this if you wanted to, which I did. It was only $5. You can go ahead and get the boost for patrol chests. It's just something really simple. All right. Loadouts. You can see your perks over here. And when you want to do a loadout, go through the gear you have. It's always best to make all the gear so you can see which ones are capable of giving you the slot you want. Then there's a secondary perk. Each one of these guys that you activate here has like Rage Hunter. See just underneath resistance there, 75? Rage Hunter. It has a perk that comes with it. And it's right here. 15% versus Enraged Behemoths. Alright? And then they stack. As you see, each one has levels. Now, if you're going for pure damage, pure damage is done like this. Having a really nice weapon, wanting to have the element against the creature you're having to fight, and then mostly having a setup that gives you percentage buffs. Unless you want to target more breaking legs or whatever, with whatever you're going to use, you're going to want to have stuff that gives you a percentage. Uh, let's put the gun back in, because this is what the, I think the setup is with. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I have Predator. It's plus 7, but it only goes to high 6, so that's 35% increased damage from not getting hit for 15 seconds. That's a big jump right there. Then I have Conduit, which is going to give me a, a 20%, 19, but it's going to give 20% to uh, speed. Rage Hunter is 15% more damage versus Enraged Beasts. So, then you add Savagery in. Savagery is going to be 30% more on wounded parts, and a lot of times they get wounded rather fast. You're stacking percent right here. In total, if he's enraged, he's injured, that's 45% there, plus 35%. Right? So that's an 80% buff on my attack. Then I have Molten, which is a, a small little attack and movement speed buff that comes out. You pick it up, you're good to go. Right? So that's my setup for this dude. And it just gives you what you want. It gives you that incredibly large amount of damage. On top of that, then you take your abilities. My ability right now I'm going to be working on is going to be using the, well, the precision grip with the line of sight, whatever, marksman chamber. You shoot the enemy, get 40% more or 80% more again. So if I'm armed to get 80% damage and I hit something that's weakened, I get 160% boost damage on that part that's a lot of damage that's why you can get massive numbers with a gun and then you have to merge them all and get them in the right spots yada 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 so there you go that's just i hope you kept up i tried not to go very fast with it uh that's pretty much the one over on what you're doing elemental resistances all that stuff comes hand in hand as for armors it's the same deal you're going to want to start leveling them up, getting them where you want them. Uh, I haven't been in the game very long. I only got four days into myself. I just figured I'd do my own video. I haven't even looked into the game. I've heard of it, but I just never checked it out. I learned everything on my own. That's the best way to do it. So, as you can see there, this Predator is on my boots as well. Uh, I really don't need that. Predator plus two in here. I got to get another Predator somehow to remove it. Or do something different. But yeah, I need to get that fixed. Because I'm at plus 7, I don't need plus 7. Alright. Conduits. Do I have any? I have... Conduit, conduit, conduit. I don't have another conduit. Huh. Yeah, I need to get a new conduit as well. Alright. So that's that. Uh, anything else I really wanted to point out? Oh yeah, the quests. Pass hunt. Hunt pass challenges or whatever. You get these guys. You're going to want to get those done whenever you can. Because that's a lot of levels for your thing. Right there is equivalent to five levels. Six levels? No, six levels right there. So that's nice. 
Ooh, I got big boys to kill. Uh, pylons. Here we go. So we're gonna go on my game now. Uh, collect them. Animate scale from rock falls. Turn. Moon weaver strike. Firebrand scale from firebrand korog and. Huh. All right. We're gonna start playing mine and doing some ass wolfetry. First of all, fire. Brand Korog. He's fire. Why am I putting fire in? i take that out. Oh, thank you for a thumbs up. Someone give me a thumbs up. Or two people did. Hey! <laughs> Someone likes me out there. Alright, I need to grab some Red Bull. Um, repeaters. Up to okay. We're gonna upgrade this a bunch. Ooh, I can afford it. Nice. One of my dull arc stones. Son of a any dull arc stones, you're a pain in my butt. Okay, marksman chamber. Who am I? Is this one 40% empowerment? Uh, I'm gonna need neutral orbs. It's okay. We'll get that up and running. At least get it up and running somewhat. Get that weapons gear up there again. Alrighty then. Uh, who are we after? Firebrand. Him specifically, and the other one. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go after this guy specific. I'm not gonna do a. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the patrol, not just yet. Ooh, it's cold outside. Who the hell is that? I think he's on my friend's list. <sighs> God, sorry, I had yawn. Um, do 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 do. Cheer, nope, thumbs up, signal flares, do I have any more flares unlocked? Warned to blood, assassin, a banana, just a basic flare, dinner club, well, how the hell to get half of that, hunt arrival, smoke bomb, what is this? Stick to landing. Looks like a giant freaking. Huh. What's up? I want some food. <laughs> oh my. <coughs> want some food? Yeah. Alright. Ram to part. Uh, I got a second. Oh my god, my knee. Child woke up. Hmm. All right. Give me a second, guys. I glad for one second. I gotta fill this up with water. Still left the headset out. All right, we're done. <laughs> I'm out in the kitchen. It's okay. Go watch the shows. Jeez, bad timing. Alright, I just gotta turn my mic off, because if there's people in here, I will drive them nuts. Oh, uh, how do you do that again? There we go. I wish there was a way to select these people and just send them, like, guild invites and shit. You can't do that. Alright, uh... 300. That's a mine. Decision. I gotta upgrade all these things. <laughs> you see, you ship appear over, and I teleport down instead.
Away we go. I don't know where this guy is. Oh, definitely not right there. Looking for a big guy. Big guy. Big guy. There he is. I hear music. Did someone see him? Betcha he's down at the low. Right. Down that way. Yeah, there he is. Whole point to having that speed buff I can blast around the field like Sonic. <laughs> there he is. Send another player off. Alright. Let's get that tail dealt with first. Oh, he came back! <laughs> give boost damage, give speed damage, a speed boost. Normally you can let that charge up so you can actually hit it properly. I'm gonna take care of that tail with these guys right quick. Not much left to it, I tell you that. Uh oh. I missed it. He freaking jumped on me. Now, I'm gonna be immune to that so we don't have to deal with it. Uh, these guys are taking a lot of freaking damage. Let's give them some health back. Oh shit, that was a lag. in that battle. How long does that last for? Now, I'm healing them. You can see their health going up. I'm going to put this out right now. I want to see the increase on damage. Oh, that was in the, that was in the wrong spot. I missed that completely. Ah, I'm in freaking fire. Screw it. That was a waste. I gotta get in there to be able to get an empowerment. Well, let me get an empowerment right there, buddy. Oh, thank you. Ah, stop it! I'm trying to hit that. You see that little thing down after? Whoa. I hit it again. <laughs> mean that. Oh jeez, he came back this way. Oh damn it, he did it again. Back him right up and do it. There we go. On the tail. There we go. Tail's gone. Some dark dark. Yeah, the tail's broke. I'm good. I gotta heal. I keep on forgetting to. No, I need you to freaking give me that energy of yours. Hot, 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 hot. Ugh. 
I I <laughs> keep on fine tuning my shots, but apparently not enough. Damn it! How am I taking so much freaking damage? There we go. Right where I want it. Anywhere. Shit. I'm not on fire. What the? Oh, there's a buff. <laughs> Ignore me. So yeah, table's gone. That thing is interesting. I'm kind of curious on how it works. I don't know if they got it right next to me while I'm doing it. Definitely interesting. Oh, hi. Oh, jeez. Come on, dude. I'm shooting a tail. I noticed. <laughs> Get rid of that. Dude, you need to come back over this way. Thank you. God. Uh oh. I knew that was a bad move. I'm close enough to absorb to him, I don't know why it didn't let me. Oh, now I'm right in front of you. Again, stop turning. There we go, headshot. Now we just beat away on his face. Gotta get wherever he has on his face off. Ah! Are you freaking stand up? Heal! God dang it! Where did that even come from? I do not know. I was about to. F oh, you. Pain in my ass, that's what you are. Here, have that. Of course, I got it. <laughs> I blew the thing off him. Oh. There we got that one too. Got that one too. And he's dead. Buff damage. <laughs> nice amount of damage. Breaking parts. That's pretty good. I need to get the weapon a bit a bit higher. Definitely need the weapon higher. Oh my back. Oh back itchy. Okay. So for that engineering quest required me to get Scales, <laughs> double up. Uh, Dreadfrost Boris is next. That's who we're doing next. And that's what we're going to do. Frost. Dreadfrost. Mm. Wait. We just did Blaze. We got Ice equipped, right? We're doing Frost now. Change it up to Fire. 
Simple as that. Now that mine ability is really cool. But you know what? It doesn't do the damage. It's more of an interrupt thing. The explosive mine is definitely more of an interrupt deal. Now that's a buff. It's an extra damage. No, oh, what am I talking about? It's extra damage altogether. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking that if I had that with the, the long burst at the same time, I can't do that because it's an interrupt. And yeah. The other one's a speed buff. You know what? We're good like this. Oh, my back. We'll go to the thrust. So, yeah, I was healing them when I was attacking. I'm pretty sure the health was going up. I just can't watch it. It's interesting though, that little that little buff for attack. Twelve percent of damage dealt will heal all nearby slayers, so they have to be nearby. I gotta go out and put something in. I'm waiting on water to boil right now for food. There are six minutes. She normally is asleep. When I start my feed, she was fine. When she wakes up, then I gotta go do daddy things. I gotta clean and other stuff. I wonder where he is. Right across the field. water. You'd think I would have seen him. You really think I would have noticed him. Oh, well, he's not over here, means he's over there. Someone's gonna get their eyes on him eventually. I like it when I'm the first one because I can get in there and get a charge. Oh my god, he's not, he's all the way over there. Son of a... I missed it. <laughs> Give me back my speed. I thought I ran right into that thing. There he is. We all ran by him. Might as well send another flare. He has wings? How did I hit that leg? Oh, now he's immune. That's right, that's this guy. Hey! Don't do that! Where'd he go? Oh, I think I got a big boom on that one. Son of a bitch. Little things. His armor should be practically gone. If I can freaking get close enough.
There we go. Is the armor gone? There we go. I I know I'm aiming at his head for some reason. And Jesus, little things are still out. No way. Supposed to be empowered. There we go. And now he's invincible again. Dude, this guy is annoying. Excuse me? It only counts for the killing blow on those little shits? Wow. That sucks. I don't like this freaking all these damn little things. Where are you fat trigger? <laughs> you kidding me right now? Took that much effort to put one of them down. Hi. Come on, there was a couple of them right together right there. Oh, they can empower me. Sweet. Don't blow up on me. Gotcha. Oh, that hurt. Excuse me? Man, this guy's really jumping around a lot. Ow. Nice tell. <laughs> there he goes again. And he ran. Jumpy, jumpy. Holy crap. Well. Just going this way. <laughs> I think I've seen him just now. Yeah, he's over that way. Of course he's freaking invincible again. Because why not? Oops, I hit the wrong button. Get away from me. Freaking things everywhere. I kind of wish I can go first person sometimes. I think we just shattered it. Got it.
Sorry if this is getting a bit jumpy on you guys, but holy crap. Imagine on my part, shooting this guy's tail is not a freaking easy target. I don't want to get his tail off. Oh shit. And he's invincible again. I remember why I don't like this type of dude. He just keeps on going invincible. Do them. Come on down here, you little shits. Ooh, hi. Yeah. Get that. Really, that's it. Boom! <laughs> There's his armor. Please tell me I didn't hit the little bastard with that. Oh, we killed him. <laughs> Whoops. We we killed him. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Accidentally killed him. Whoopsies. So, guys, that's it. Hit that like button, subscribe. And that was just a basic setup video. And a couple gameplay battles. I didn't mean... I was trying to get his tail off, but apparently they weren't. And I was missing a bunch of shots, hitting mostly body. That's fun. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.